Hello, good evening. Good evening, Carlos, Ivania, Janet, Valmore, Elizabeth, Mario, Victor, and Martial. Welcome to the class. How was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Hello, teacher. Hello, Maria. Uh, I'm doing great. You're doing right. That's excellent. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, it, it was okay. It was okay. Yeah. Uh, did you, you stay where home? Are you? Uh, let me see. It was um, very busy, but it was a good weekend, though. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm teaching on Saturday in the morning and the afternoon. So it was kind of, and uh, Sunday, uh, someone came to visit us. So yes, it was kind of busy. Not really. Mm -hmm. um, in my case, I was working. Oh, you work? Saturday and Sunday. The two days. Oh my God. So you must yeah. be tired. <laughs> um, so, so. Mm hmm so do you regularly work on weekends or it was a special um, it's, thing? Yes, extra, extra hours. Oh, extra hours. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the best thing of the extra hours is going shopping with that money. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, nice that you have a very interesting weekend. And Thank you. you did money. That's nice. Uh, <laughs> so... Uh, today we will start with a new topic. We were practicing the comparatives, superlatives, and you're doing it good. Excellent. So we're going to move on. Let me share my screen with you. This conversation is part of our unit number three, and you have it on page 29 of your material. Um, so the idea here is to be able to give advice on tips or to monitor personal and improve workplace operations. Um, and we have a couple of questions here. Uh, how are employees monitored at your company? Any volunteer? How are employees monitored at your company? Do they feel reports or are you monitored by a supervisor, by cameras? Are employees monitored at your company? or what kind of documentation is used in your company to make sure employees are doing a good job. For example, in my case, we are monitored in every class by supervisor. Uh, supervisor get into the room, sit for a couple of minutes and fills a report. If there is something to improve, uh, they sent us an email with that. If we are doing something good, they also let us know so that we can continue doing that. What about you? How are employees monitored at your workplace? In my case, mm -hmm. in my case uh, we are monitoring through cameras, um also we have a, a supervisor um who is who is watching watching como le digo él nos está mirando todo el tiempo casi ah uh, yes he was watching us all the watching time us. yes uh -huh. that's right um that's kind of uncomfortable right <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've been teaching for a long time and I'm always feeling uncomfortable when supervisors get into their room. <laughs> yeah. I try to do my best. And uh, when they do that, I think that uh, 
probably they do not confide enough in us, but I, I need to get used to that. I'm sure I will. And yes, and the rest of yeah. you? Mm -hmm. But the, the our supervisor is it's friendly. It's friendly. Yeah. Mm. It's a oh. good person. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice because uh, yes, it's the same with us because they if there is something to improve, they let us know. If we're some doing uh something good, they let us know as well. It is different when they just point at the bad things or things to improve. You just need to improve this. You're not doing this good. And all the time, the same thing, just things to improve. It's like, okay, is there something I'm doing okay? So, hmm. yes, it's good to have a, uh, a, a balance there, right? So that's hmm. nice that you have a, a, a friendly supervisor and a fair. I hmm. guess this fair. Uh, what does it mean that? Fair. Justo. Yeah. Or justa. Mm -hmm. Justo. Ah, okay. Okay. So, nice. Well, we're going to practice this conversation. As you know, we don't have audios for this one. So, you will listen to me and then you will role play. Where is Mario? He's late for his shift. Mario? Goodness, I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry. He should ca have called me directly. If he had called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Do you have any question about this conversation? Maybe vocabulary or pronunciation? No questions? All right, if there's no questions, maybe um, you're ready to role play. Do I have two volunteers to role play this conversation? You can raise your hand. Okay, I have Carla and Magdiel. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Where's Mario? He is late for his chip. Mario? Goodness. I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry. He should have called me directly. If he had called it to my phone, I could have found a substitute Substitute, substitute by now. I, I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. There you go. Excellent. Now you can change role. <clears throat> okay. How can I pronounce the substitute? Substitute. Like subs, substitute. Substitute. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Where is Mario? He is late for for his shift. Mario, goodness, I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you early. Don't worry. He should have called me directly. If he had called to me my phone, I could have found a uh, substitute by now. I have time. This afternoon, let me cover for him. There you go. Excellent. Thank, Thank you, so, you much. so much. Do we have two more volunteers? 
Anybody else would like to role play? I have Melanie and Janet. Excellent. Where's Mario? He's late for his ship. Mario, God's nest. I got told us he is very sick. I should have told you early. Don't worry. She, uh, he should have called me directly. If he had called to my phone, I couldn't. I could have have found a substitute by now. I have tried this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Excellent. Now you can change role. Switch role. Where's worth Mario? He is late for the his ship. Mario, goodness, I got a call, a call, Paul, that he is very sick. I should have told you early. Don't worry. Uh, he should have called me directly if he called, have called to me phone. I call have phone a substitute by now. Very I have good. time this afternoon. Wait, let me cover for him. There you go. Very good job, ladies. Thank you so much for your participation. Do we have the last two volunteers? Don't worry. Do you? So how call it me call it me directly if and who wants to practice with Mario? A volunteer to practice with Mario? Me, teacher. Thank you, Luis. Okay, Luis and Mario. Where's Mario? He is late for this shift. Man. Mario? Goodness. I got a car that's this. Is very sick. I saw have told you early. Don't worry. He should have called me directly. If he had called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. There you go. Change roles. Where's Mario? He's late for his chief. Mario, goodness. I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry. You should have called me directly. Directly? Direct. I have called it to my phone. I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Very good. Very well done. Thank you so much for your participation. Now let's move to the next exercise, which is number three. It says, look at the conversation and complete the statements. We have uh, three statements here that we need to complete based on what we have in the conversation. I'll give you time. You can um, complete it uh, here in the main section. It's not necessary to get in groups. And you can check out that exercise on page 29 of your material as well.
finished Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you so much for confirming. Let's see. Okay. Volunteer for number one then? Volunteer for number one. Me teach her to have to you early. Okay, I. I should have to you early. Excellent, that is correct, Carla. Thank you so much for your answers. So for that one would be, I should have told you earlier. Um, volunteer for number two. He should have. Uy, perdón. Sorry. Hey, hey, hey. He should have called me directly. Yes, he should have called me directly. Luis, the last one. Okay. If if he had called me, called it to my phone. I could have found a substitute by now. There you go. That is correct. Thank you, everybody, for your participation. That was fantastic. You did it awesome. So as you can see here, let me continue sharing from the PowerPoint. Okay. Here, we're going to be uh, using the, uh, the present. So the past participle of the verbs. So I know that it's kind of difficult, especially with irregular verbs, because we need a lot of practice and they most of them change, right? Without following a specific rule. And as you can see here in this box, we have some examples on the use of the perfect models to express regret or remorse about past actions. Um, uh, which is what we are seeing expressed in that conversation. And it says that we have to use the auxiliary should in some cases. Other cases we can use could or would. So we will be working with those auxiliaries. Vamos a estar trabajando con esos auxiliares y también con el pasado participio de los verbos. Así que tenemos que eh, hacer mucha práctica porque son varias estructuras que vamos a estar utilizando para expresar eh, arrepentimientos o, o remordimiento, ¿verdad? O hubieras hecho esto, podría haber sido así, etc. Eh, igual también se utiliza como para dar eh, consejo también, no solo para uh, expresar algún tipo de um, arrepentimiento. Para esto, la estructura es como la tenemos acá ilustrada. Podemos usar should have más el verbo en pasado participio para hablar acerca de cosas en las que nos um, tenemos algún tipo de arrepentimiento o que hubiéramos querido hacer diferente. I should have sent the report sooner. Es el primer ejemplo que tenemos. Y luego tenemos, I shouldn't have asked her to carry those boxes. Um, ambas expresando algún tipo de arrepentimiento, tal vez este, eh, cosas que desearíamos cambiar, pero pues ya no podemos, ¿verdad? Eh, could y would, eh, si usamos could y would, estos son usados eh, en esta estructura. Se usa if plus had, el, ya el auxiliar aquí es had, y luego el pasado participio. 
Uh, if I had known you were sick, I could have gotten a substitute. The manager could have fixed your schedule if you had mentioned it to him. I would have come to work if I had received the schedule on time. Como pueden ver, pues son varias formas de que podemos uh, practicar, es de mantener en cuenta las estructuras, cómo se van a utilizar para eh, poder desarrollar los ejercicios. Y pues aquí la tenemos. Eh, este es el primer ejercicio con la práctica de estas estructuras que tenemos. Um, este sí, para este sí creo que lo vamos a hacer en grupo para que pues puedan eh, ayudarse. Y recuerden, esto está en su material. Ahorita les comparto. Como pueden ver, está acá. Está en la página 30. Eh, lo pueden tener así para que vean eh, la, el, el recuadrito con las estructuras y con eso vayan guiándose para complementar aquí. Recuerden que esto solo es de agarrar aquí donde está la T para agregar el texto que nos ubicamos desde donde queremos empezar a escribir y pues igual podemos borrar. Tenemos las herramientas aquí en el PDF que es su material que descargaron. Y recuerden, esto está en la página 30. Voy a dejar de compartir. Y vamos a hacer los breakout rooms para hacer este ejercicio rapidito y luego regresamos para chequearlo. Hello. Hola. Puede compartir, don Mario. Ahorita vamos a ver. Shooting. The bartender shouldn't Sería taken, ¿verdad? The bartender shouldn't have taken. Thank you. 
Mm -hmm. But the hub, the for the student. Oh. Uh huh. Yes. Ask. 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 Should have shouldn't have taken a note. Call a call. Shouldn't take. Igual que la, la do, pero... Sí. Casi sería la number six. Ahí lo con con. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, would someone like to share? Would someone like to share? You can share your screen or if you want, I can share and you read your answers. No volunteers? Could you could you share the your screen teacher? Sure, I will. Okay, uh, why do you have a what do you have in number one? The bartender shouldn't have taken that bottle of wine without permission. Okay, shouldn't have taken. Excellent, that is correct. The bartender shouldn't have taken that bottle of wine without permission. Now, number three, the servers. Uh, volunteer for number three. Good have been. The servers good have been. Okay, excellent. Would have been. That's correct. The servers would have been in trouble if they had been late for the meeting. Great, now number four, you. 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 Yes, sure. ask it. All right, should have asked. Asked. Excellent, you should have asked. Very good, Janet. Uh, volunteer for number five, the cashier. Shouldn't have taken. Okay, shouldn't have taken. Excellent. That's correct. Shouldn't have taken. Now, I... To have called. Okay, I should have called to let the manager I was sick. Excellent. If you have all these answers like that, if you have the same answers, yes, they are correct. And that's pretty easy. So we'll be uh, practicing more. But first, I'm going to check attendance. 
for the first day, for the first time tonight. So let's um, enable your cameras if it is possible for you and say present as you, as you hear your name. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present. Thank you so much. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Balmore Alexander Marroquín. Present teacher. Thank you, Almore. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Tessia Noemi Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present teacher. Thank you. Hazel Panesa Menjibar. Present. Thank you. Julissa Yamilet Villalta. Julissa Yamilet Villalta. Carla Ivania Anaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Beatriz Rivera. Catherine Beatriz Rivera. Luis Javier Castillo. Present Miss. Thank you. Magdiel Esaú García. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilina Alejandra Grande. Present. Thank you, Marilyn. Mario Ernesto Ramirez. Present. Thank you, Mario. Melanie Alexandra Martinez. Present. Thank you, Melanie. Mirna Janet Angel. Present teacher. Thank you, Mirna. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, finish with Victor Noe Bonilla. Present. Thank you, Victor. Okay. Um, let me send you into me one. Okay, I'm going to send you a couple of things here. Just give me one second. Okay, it's done. Okay, I'm sharing my screen again. So for the next exercise, we have this. This is a list of uh, the most, uh, it's like 64 very common irregular verbs that you will see here that you have them in present. And here you have them in past participle. Now, I I know that sometimes, well, here it's like a, probably not really difficult to see, but I send um, the PDF. Les mandé esto mismo que están viendo ahorita en la pantalla. Se los acabo de mandar al grupo de WhatsApp para que ustedes tengan el PDF en caso que lo quieran imprimir para que practiquen. 
Y luego les mandé el audio. El audio es este mismo que es para que practiquen pronunciación. B. Ben. Did you listen? Let's be Ben. Let's go with the second one. B. Ben. B. Ben. Uh -huh. And you click stop. It is in the presentation. También les incluí el audio aquí en la presentación para que practiquen eh, pronunciación y además les mandé el audio también B. al grupo de WhatsApp por si tienen problemas en reproducirlo desde acá, desde la uh, presentación. Ya lo tienen ambos en el grupo de WhatsApp. Um, ahora, esto es por cuestión de práctica y vocabulario. Eh, ¿Tienen preguntas con esto? Acuérdense, la idea no, es... Eh, no, ok. Es uh, practicarlos y para practicarlos lo vamos a hacer en los breakout rooms. Acuérdense que lo tienen aquí en, el, en la presentación, en el PowerPoint. Aquí solo le hacen clic al sonido. Eh, pueden definir vocabulario también si hay alguno nuevo por acá. Y pues también si de repente se les hace difícil desde por acá, tienen el PDF y el audio en MP3 que se los mandé también al grupo de WhatsApp para que puedan practicar juntos. Do we have questions? No questions. Y eso es para que pues ahí hay suficiente vocabulario para los ejercicios que vienen. Entonces tenemos en la práctica de los verbos ahí en participio, que es como lo vamos a estar utilizando para este tema. Ok, let's practice the verbs and define vocabulary.
Red. 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 Ride. Ride. Ridden. Ridden. Run. 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 Say. Say. Said. Said. See. See. Seen. Seen. Sell. Sell. Sold. Sold. Sing. Sing. Sung. Sung. Sit. Sit. Sat. Sat. Spend. Spend. Spent. Spent. Stand. Stand. Stood. Stood. Steal. Steal. Stolen. Stolen. Swim. Swim. Swum. Swum. Take. Take. Taken. Taken. Teach. Teach. Taught. Taught. Tell. Tell. Told. Told. Think. Think. Thought. No. Throw. Throw. Thrown. Thrown. Understand. Understand. Understood. Understood. Wear. Wear. Worn. Worn. Win. Win. One. One. Write. Write. Written. Written. Okay, how was your practice? Did you find new vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Yes? Like how many words? A lot of them? Not many. Okay, now that everybody's back again, we have a conversation. Well, I included there in the material. Just let me share with you. Yes, you have a conversation and this one, yes, it has audio. Tiene uh, audio y es relacionada siempre al tema con el objetivo de seguirlo practicando. Eh, voy a compartir ahorita con ustedes. Okay, now I'm sharing the screen. You have this conversation I included in the in the PowerPoint for today's class. So let's see. As you see, there's two probably friends talking in the picture. Um, they are thinking about, maybe she's thinking about shopping. Ah, lots of shopping, she looks like. 
thinking seriously about that. And guy is smiling. Okay, we're going to listen to the well. The first time we're going to listen the whole thing, the whole conversation, and just to see if you find any new word there, or just for pronunciation. Unit fifteen. What would you do? Page one hundred, exercise two, conversation. If I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Part A. Listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go out and start spending it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Okay. Is there new vocabulary? What does it mean, jewelry? I no sé cómo se pronuncia. Jewelry, joyería. Thanks. You're welcome. Any other new word? What's the meaning of jail? Jail, carcel. Jail, carcel. What is mean owner? Owner, propietario, o dueño. Dueño o propietario. Any other question? What does mean you are kidding? You're kidding. Estás bromeando. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Bromeas, estás bromeando. Igual si usted dice, estoy bromeando, es mentira. Es, I'm just kidding. Or, I'm kidding. Ok, that's good. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Any other question? Muy bien que han aprendido bastante vocabulario nuevo, muy útil uh, en esta conversación y ese es el objetivo, ¿verdad? Entonces voy a poner el audio una vez más. Voy a ir haciendo pausa después de cada eh, personaje para que puedan repetir en casa. Siempre lo pueden hacer con el micrófono en mute para pues, que no se oiga el, el... Y luego pues lo podemos practicar en los... Eh, en la sección principal para poder escucharlo sí, y ver si hay algún um, aspecto en que podamos mejorar. Ok, I'm going to play the conversation again. Unit 15. What would you do? Page 100, exercise 2, conversation. If I found $750,000, part A. Listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, 
Well, I'd go out and start spending it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Let's practice one more time. Unit 15. What would you do? Page 100, Exercise 2, Conversation. If I found $750,000... Part A. Listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go out and start spending it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Ready, volunteers? Okay, let's see. We have Madiel, Melanie, and Mario. Let's start with Madiel and Melanie. And then we will continue with Mario. Michael and Melanie, you can start. Okay, uh, look at this. Some guy found 750,000. He returned it and he, the owner, signed for thank it. Uh, taking him with a phone call. You are kidding? If I found 750,000, Thousand. It's okay, teacher. Sure. Seven hundred. Mm -hmm. Que sería seven hundred fifty thousand. Fifty thousand dollars. Ah, uh -huh. seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Seven seven hundred fifty thousand dollar. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I wouldn't. I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'll I'd go out and start spending it, and could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Um, someone might also find out uh, find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a pointer. Pretty good, pretty good. Thank you so much for. Uh, participating I know the quantity is quite um high <laughs> hmm. seven hundred 
fifty thousand dollars. Es que se lo voy a poner en el chat. Seven. 750,000 dollars. Para que no se les olvide. Ahí está. 750,000 dollars. Y veamos qué más por aquí. Ok. Eh, los que terminan en ED, acuérdense que no se pronuncian ED. No es like tanked. Es tanked. And like that. Pending mm -hmm. it. Eh, poniendo juntas palabras como about it, got her. Mm -hmm. So you say, someone might also find about it, and then you could also go to jail, go to jail, right? Too. Hay que ir como uniendo palabras para que se suene como más eh, natural, más parecido, ¿verdad? Eh, then, eh, pero fuera de todo eso, excelente. Y vamos a ver, creo que eran Marilyn y Mario. Next. Okay. Okay, Marilyn and Mario. You can go ahead. Okay, look at this. Some guys found $7,500. No. Al revés. $7,750. Okay. okay. Look at this. Some guy found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. He returned it, and the owner simple tanked with him with a phone call. You're kidding! If I if if I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What will you do? Well, I did, I go out and start spending it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Mm, you be got a point there. Okay, pretty good. Thank you so much for participating. Let's remember this is by. By. The bird there is um, by. Acá sería by. And clothes. Como que fuera casi con the clothes. 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 And you've. You've. You've got a pointer. You've got a pointer. Uh, let's see. Do we have two more volunteers? I have Victor, and who wants to practice with Victor? Carla Ivania. Okay, Victor and Carla. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Some guy found $715,000. He returned it and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so far. Why? What would you do? Well, I go, I got up and started speeding, speeding it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. So one, so one might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Mm, you, you got a point there. Mm -hmm. You got a point there. Excellent. Thank you so much, Victor and Carla. Um, and let's see, we have listened three couples. So I think that we can uh, continue practicing in the breakout rooms. Lo están haciendo excelente. Solamente, bueno, ya escuchamos tres parejas y hicimos algunas correcciones. 
es y acuérdense que es de repetir, repetir y repetir para que vayamos ganando fluidez. Y este es el chance que nosotros tenemos para repetir y practicar con nuestros compañeros. Vamos a escuchar la parte B y luego los voy a mandar a los breakout rooms para que puedan seguir practicando la conversación con diferentes compañeros, cambiando roles. Van a tener su tiempo para eso. Eh, right now, let's complete the part B. It says, listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if, if he found the $705,000? Let's listen and try to get that information. Page 100, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Did you get the information? What would Peel do? Do you want to listen again? Let's listen one more time. Page 100, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Has anybody got the information? I repeat again one more, please. Okay. Page 100, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Okay, now, um, what would Phil do if he found $750,000? Nobody has that answer? Teacher, sorry. What does mean Phil? Oh, it's the no, name. Phil is, is a person. Yeah, it's a person. Okay. And he says, uh, if he found this money, he goes, goes sorry, he goes to the police. Uh -huh. He would take the money straight yeah. to the police. Straight, it's like directamente, straight to the yeah. police. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. So now let's uh, continue practicing. Let's create the breakout room. And remember that you have this conversation in the PowerPoint so you can practice with your classmates. Let me... We create the room. Okay, And there we go.
Hello, classmate. Hello. Hello, hello. <clears throat> Practice. Yes. Mm. Okay, look at this. Songway found seven seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. He returned and the owner simple thanked him with a phone call. Um, estoy buscando la presentación. O la tiene ahí para compartirla. Yo la tengo. Thank you, Melanie. Thank you. Okay. Hey, en, si usted empiece nuevamente. <coughs> okay. Look at this. Songway found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a falcon phone call. You're kidding! If I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I go out and start spending. I could buy a lot of night clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Mm, you've got a point there. Okay. I start. Other classmates? Okay. Uh, me? Me, me too. Okay. You are pill and I part. Okay. Look at this. Some guy found a $750,000. He returned it and the owner simple thinking with take, take him with a phone call. You are kidding. If I found... Seven thousand fifteen seven hundred and fifty thousand. I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? <clears throat> well, I did go out and start spending it. It could buy lots of nice clothes and generally. Uh, someone might also fi find out about it, and then you couldn't go to go, go to jail. Mm, you have got a pointer. Um, could you switch? Uh, now I'm pill and you are pot. Okay. Look at this. Some guy found... Seven hundred and fifty thousand. He returned it, and and the owner simple thank it, thank it him taking him with a phone call. You're kidding! If I found if I found a seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What do you do? What would you do, sorry? Well, I go go out and I started spending spending it. I couldn't buy lots of night clothes and jewelry. <clears throat> Someone might also find out about it. If if then you could go to jail. Mm, you've got a point there. Okay. Who's next? Remember that the idea is to repeat as many times as possible, and I just heard four of you practicing once. 
La idea es que practiquen las veces que puedan, no solo es una vez y ya tengo fluidez, es práctica, mucha práctica. Aquí en el room solo he escuchado a cuatro y tenemos a Melanie, Magdiel, Cecia, Luis Javier, Marilyn, Mario y Abigail. Ok, me again, but I, I want to be fat, please. I don't practice with fat. I want to practice. Okay. I am Pat. Okay. Look at this. Some guy from seventy hundred fifty thousand. He returned it in the owner supply. Thank you him with with a phone call you are kidding if i found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars i could return it so fast why what would do you well i got out and start spending it i could buy lots of nice clothes and and jewelry so my all fight up about it. And then you call go to try. Mm, you are got a point there. Okay. Switch rolls. Look at this. Don't I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. He returned it in the owner simple thing with a falcon you're kidding if i found seven hundred and fifty thousand i wore it to it's the past why what would you do well i go out and I start and spending it i call by lots of nice clothes and jewelry someone might also find out about it and then you could go to jail. Hola, Miss. Hello. Estamos teniendo problemas con la con el material lo andamos buscando. Mm. Ok. Eh, está en la última presentación que les mandé. Sí, ya no, no lo he encontrado, pero ya más o menos le, okay. le expliqué dónde está. Ok, y, bien. Ya vamos a empezar ah. a practicar. Hay un botoncito por ahí que dice Ask for Help, que es pedir ayuda. Cuando ustedes empujan ese botoncito, yo me puedo meter algún para poder ayudarles, por lo menos para que tomen una captura o decirles a dónde está. Sí, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, ok.
Hey everybody, it's back again. Congratulations to room number one. I was listening to you and you were improving every time that you did it. Es, eh, lo hicieron mejor cada vez que los estuve escuchando. Así que los felicito. Y de eso se trata. A ver, vamos a continuar entonces. Just let me continue sharing my screen. Uh, I felt terrible. Let's see. Let me share. Okay, after the conversation, we have this other exercise. And in this one, we will practice the structure. Vamos a practicar la estructura que eh, tenemos en el material que nos proporciona INSA for. Vamos a practicar un poquito más, ya que se fijaron, solo eran como cuatro oraciones la práctica y tenemos que um, hacer más para que se nos vaya quedando la estructura. Así como con la pronunciación, el grupo que estuve escuchando, el, el número uno, que estuvo participando mucho, eh, mejoraron la, la pronunciación y ya, ya no les costaba decir esa cantidad de, <ríe> tan grande, ¿verdad? Que no estamos acostumbrados a decir. Uh, $705,000 dollars. Entonces, ya lo decían súper bien, natural, y de eso se trata. Así que a seguir practicando y tenemos este um, listening. Eh, vamos a, a escucharlo y luego vamos a ver cuál, qué sugerirían ustedes o qué otras ideas se les ocurren. Déjenme compartir audio. Page 102, Exercise 7, Perspectives. I felt terrible. Part A. Listen to people talk about recent predicaments. Then check the best suggestion for each one. What a disaster. I spilled juice on my parents' new couch. They weren't home, so I just turned the cushions over. What should I have done? You should have told them about it. You should have cleaned it immediately. You should have offered to buy them a new couch. I forgot my best friend's birthday. I felt terrible, so I sent him a text to apologize. What would you have done? I would have called him right away. I would have sent him a nice birthday present. I would have invited him out for a meal. You want to listen one more time? One more time, teacher, please. Okay. Page 102, Exercise 7, Perspectives. I felt terrible. Part A. Listen to people talk about recent predicaments. Then check the best suggestion for each one. What a disaster. I spilled juice on my parents' new couch. They weren't home, so I just turned the cushions over. What should I have done? You should have told them about it. You should have cleaned it immediately. You should have offered to buy them a new couch. I forgot my best friend's birthday. I felt terrible, so I sent him a text to apologize. What would you have done? I would have called him right away. I would have sent him a nice birthday present. I would have invited him out for a meal. Okay, so... What would you have done in each situation? What are, in the first one? What do you think is the best suggestion? For me, number two, you should have cleaned, cleaned, cleaned it imme immediately. 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 Mm -hmm. immediately. Excellent. Thank you, Luis. What about the rest of you? What do you think is the best suggestion? 
Lee said you should have cleaned immediately. Mm, what about you? Do you think the same? I think uh, the option, first option, you should have told them about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And the rest of you? What do you think is the best suggestion? I think number two, should you feel clean immediately? Immediately. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Any other idea? For me, teacher, you should have cleaned immediately and then you should have told them about it. Okay, excellent. Sounds good. Sounds like a good plan. Excellent. Anybody else? What about the second situation? I forgot my best friend's birthday. I felt terrible, so I sent him a text to apologize. What would you have done? I think the third option, I would have invited, invited him out for a meal. All right. That's a good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Anybody else? What do you think? For me, a uh, third option, I would have invited him out for a meal. Oh, you think the same as Magdiel? Okay, says yeah, Magdiel, you're in the same page. <laughs> Anybody else? What do you, what would you have done? I feel my girlfriend sent him a nice birthday present. Okay, that sounds good. Everybody loves presents. Any other me, idea? Mm -hmm. For me, the first option and the, to the third option is a good combination. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other idea? Is there any other idea that we might use here? Okay, so that would be it then. Now, let's just add um, some other ideas. Remember to use the structure as you see them there. I know that some of you were having issues trying to find the presentation. Algunos tuvieron problemas tratando de encontrar la presentación. Entonces, les voy a mandar el reporte de esto al grupo de WhatsApp ahorita mismo. Ahí lo tienen. Ok, vamos a... Con esto lo que vamos a hacer es escribir. Esto lo pueden hacer individualmente. Y, y es igual se los mandé por ahí para que pues lo tengan a la mano. Ok, this is what we have. Eso es lo que tenemos y tenemos tres sugerencias para cada caso. Do you have any other idea? Esto es lo que dice el libro, pero usted, ¿qué hubiera hecho? ¿Tiene alguna idea diferente a las que están ahí? 
Vamos a escribirla una para cada caso. Acuérdense que también pueden ser negativos como you shouldn't have o I wouldn't have. También pueden ser negativas sus, sus sugerencias. Teacher, y exactamente una nada más. Porque algunos que, que se puede ocupar dos ideas de las que ya, ya tiene ahí. O sea, eh, sí, pero ajá, pueden, ustedes pueden escribir más de una si ustedes gustan. Por ejemplo, en la primera yo le escribiría You shouldn't have eaten or drink anything on the couch. <ríe> yo creo que exacto. lo mejor era evitar comer o tomar algo en el couch. So, yo escribiría algo similar. You shouldn't have eaten or drunk anything while you're on the couch. Okay? Y se nos pueden ocurrir más ideas. Más Exacto. de una. Diferentes a las que ya están ahí. La idea es que creemos más siguiendo la estructura. Acuérdense usar should, have y el verbo en pasado participio. Would, have y verbo en pasado participio. Ok. Uh -huh. ¿O prefieren hacerlo en grupo? To have more ideas, para que sea más rápido, para más ideas. I think that you work very good in groups. No sé si las breakouts. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. In number one, we have to give um, another more option. More. Okay. Um, Vamos a dar más, más este, opciones. Yes. Eso era, ¿verdad? Yes. <coughs> All okay. options. Okay. You see my yeah. screen? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I can see. Okay, um, and that in the situation, first situation, I think you should send into wash. You should? You should send, send into wash. O sea, lo podríamos enviar a lavar. Uh... Other idea? Could be, you should have sent to cleaning. You should? You should have sent to cleaning. Absent to cleaning. How do you mean absent? Oh, how do you spell? 
I'm going. I'm going to write in the chat. Mm -hmm. Okay. This will absent to clean it, yeah. Remember, I have like that. So uh -huh. you should have sent it. Oh. Sin que va el it para que sería el sujeto. El el que yeah. vea el soft it. El soft it, ¿verdad? You yeah. should send it. You should have okay. sent it to to clean it. To clean it. Okay. You should have sent It to clean. It's okay. Okay. So we just see the the picture of. Uh, we we cannot see what you're writing. Okay. Um, other idea, you should apply it on your sofa. Okay, so you say you should have offered to buy Offer. a new sofa. That sounds... It's a new sofa. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of money. <laughs> How do you say cubrir, teacher? Cover. 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 You should have cover. And you should. The mancha. Cover yeah. it. To a stain. A stain. A stain. And a stain sería la mancha. You should have covered the stain. A stain. Mm -hmm. You should have covered the stain. You should have. Covered the uh -huh. stain. Uh -huh. Acuérdense de la estructura y pueden ir tomando como la estructura de las que están viendo ahí. Ok. Ok. You have over to the stain. Teacher. Yes. Um I don't know, is correct uh word furniture clean in place. Furniture? You should have called a furniture clean and 
cleaning place. Cleaner company. Ah, okay. Uh huh. You should have Cleaner. called. Okay. You should have called a furniture cleaner company. Mm -hmm. A furniture cleaning company. Uh huh. Okay. You should have called. Company. Teacher, mm -hmm. how, how do you say portavasos o algo por el estilo? Una base. Para... Ah, ¿Puedes decir eh, um, portavaso o puede ser una coffee table? Porque ajá, sí, sí. el portavaso tendría que ponerlo igual en alguna superficie. <ríe> sí, coffee ¿Sí? table. Sí. Ajá. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ajá, son las mesitas que usualmente vienen con los juegos de sala o se compran aparte. Así le llaman coffee table. Sí, de hecho estoy usando una propuesta en la compra ahorita. <ríe> coffee table, ok, thanks. Teacher and second, I will have surprised him with a present and food in his house. Okay, I should have surprised him with a present putting him in his house. In his house, yes. Oh, yeah, sounds good, sounds good.
Hey, before sharing your sentences, we're going to check attendance for the second time, and then we're going to um, listen to your sentences. Listen, Abigail Elizabeth. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Valmore Alexander. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth. Valmore Alexander. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Emilio Foto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Cecia Noemi Ramos. Present, teacher. Thank you, Cecia. Is next person is Francisco Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Julissa Yamile. Julissa Yamile. Carla Ivane. Thank you. Catherine Beatriz. Luis Javier Castillo. Present, Miss. Thank you. Magdalena Saúl. Present, teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra Martinez. Present. Thank you. Mirra Yanet Angel. Santos Cristina. En Victor Noé. La sesión uno a uno tocaría para Luis Javier. Si tiene alguna pregunta, se puede quedar después de la clase. Y si no, pues seguimos eh, regular, ¿verdad? Eh, vamos a ver. Uh, ¿Volunteer to share your sentences? Mi teacher. Ok, thank you so much. The first sentences, you should have used... A coffee table. You should have used a coffee table. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for the second, um, for the second scenario, the birthday one. You should. You should have known the date on a schedule. Remember in your smartphone. Okay. Yes. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. Thank you so much for sharing. And the second group? Cecia, thank you. And the first, you should have called a furniture cleaning company. Mm -hmm. And the second, uh, I will have surprised him with a present in his house. Oh, sounds good. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much. That would be it for today. Uh, you did a very nice job. Thank you so much for your participation. See you tomorrow to continue practicing. See you tomorrow. See you. Take care. Have a good night. Bye, teacher. Have a good night. Yeah, good night.